Hello, good evening. Hope you're fine, happy, healthy. Okay, so let's go to the dashboard. Mm, all right, there are a lot of plugins that you can use for search engine optimization. The one which I'm using is the Yoast. To install that, just go to uh, plugins. And just search for Yoast uh, SEO. There it is. Uh, this is the plugin uh, it has a pro version but the free version you can use that one as well and it has a lot of features okay uh, i have already installed when you install on the left side you can go here and just go to general uh, the first thing you need to do that is just first time seo configuration configuration user click on that and you need to configure your website for the search engine optimizer. Okay. Option A, my site is live and ready to be indexed. Yes, of course my site is ready. So that's what I select and click next. Site type, what is your uh, website? Mine is an online store. This is my website. You have already seen that, that is Social online store. Uh, by the way let me do some little promotion here yeah you can do a lot of you can buy anything uh, related to gadgets computer related stuff and mobile and accessories you can go to my store and buy it uh, all right so this is an online store let's move on let's move on and next great options online stuff mm, choose a image All right, uh, so Facebook URL, you just, okay, let me go to my website, here I have linked my social media um, accounts to my website, okay, let me select the URL, and go back, I press it here. Twitter, um, I don't have Twitter here, I think it was, uh, Here it is my Twitter and let me press it here. It's a personal account with a business account and I work in Instagram. I can link my personal account here. Link my personal account here. LinkedIn. That is my LinkedIn. Uh, yeah. This is my LinkedIn. Okay, and YouTube. Okay, I have my YouTube on my website. Let me copy the link. All right, let me close it and close, close. Go back and view. Yes, that is great. And let's click next. Engine visibility. The things that from your website to be appeared in the search engine. So, I want all of them. Just click next. Does your uh, site uh, have multiple auto? No, it's only me. This is the website name Socians uh, Online Store SIS. And this is the separate of Yes. So you can track my website data and click next. Click next. You can watch these videos and uh, okay and uh, close. So the next thing that we are going to do is that just to click on the features. There are certain features from yours you can switch on and off, but that is 
find I want to keep on all of them here you need to there is a HTML tag on different kinds of search engine you need to integrate them with your WooCommerce uh, for example Google Bing and the most famous one is Google so just let's click to uh, integrate and then we need to link the google search console like the google or the google webmaster with your website and uh, let me select my email address all right let's say google uh, html tag this is a very simple way you just copy this tag and you just copy this and paste it on your website and when you come back uh, okay let's say changes first all right and uh, just click verify socians.net is verified yeah okay that's what we wanted let's close this one and another setting is Bing which belongs to Microsoft yeah just click on Bing, uh, Bing with master calls Alright, so let's click get started. Okay, login with Microsoft. Mm, it was already logged in. Mm, yes, that is sessions again. And uh, yeah, let's authorize. The website URL is HTTPS. Not HTTPS. HTTPS. So HTML tag is here, just let's copy that and let's go back to our website Bing and let's just paste right here and let's save changes. Alright and let's go and click work. Sessions.net, click on post. Alright, that is great. So let's click down. There is another group, uh, search engine. Let me log in with my Google account. The website is HTTPS. Let's add the website. Let's copy the code. HTML file, what we need is meta tag. Let's copy this. Save changes. Check. All right, so let's go to the next step. Search app here. We already specified the separator and the, and the your website and the logo and everything. Content type, we have different types of data. The first one is just uh, with the post pages and next blocks, products, portfolio. Uh, here we have the post. Actually, we don't have the post in my online store. We don't post block blocks, so. But anyway, you can specify here, for example, the meta description, you can type excerpt. Automatically, it will be selected as the excerpt for the meta description. And the pocket the, for the SEO title, the title, page, separator, site title. I think it's okay. That's fine. Although we are not posting any blog post in here uh, mostly our focus is on the okay uh, on the products so so let's review all of them the pages UX blocks products I think just uh, 
title separated site title is okay and therefore the meta description excerpt uh, separator and title again separator and site data i think it is great for each product if someone is searching i will appear on my in the search engine save, save changes mm, all right for the portfolio you don't have any portfolio page but you can set it up here you can configure you can set it up the way you want all your contents okay these are the general things that you can set up for your contents let's go to medium keep it on redirect the attachment url to the attachment itself there are specific group and categories for the meta description i just specified the excerpt okay our Ar archive yeah it's okay uh break cramps uh it was showing the page and uh, it was showing the specific tab and a specific post it's like a map a map to specific post a path for example let's say one folder the parent and the parent parent folder that's something like that just let's keep this the way it is but uh, all right let's go to tools and here you have some other tools for example the current Yoast ACO settings you can export and import. You don't want to do that. File editor and bulk edit. Bulk edit, you can edit all the files and all the pages, all the content in your website for search you and optimize so it uh, has been already done. If your website is a blog page, a blog website, you can go to posts and you can optimize and if your site is an e-commerce you can go to products and just optimize all your products all your whatever you have you know uh, on your website uh, for example i go to products and i have um, my categories i want to optimize them you can see i have two categories the first one is comp uh, computer and smartphones and tech gadgets and accessories i just click on them right just to optimize just you can click and you can scroll down in here you have the options this is how it looks on the mobile at the desktop for the meta description i can type excerpt all right and uh, i can add uh, another variable separator and then i can add uh, site title and then I can add the parent type. Yeah, I think it's okay. Additionally, you can add anything you want. For example, let me add some. You just you can read this stuff and these things, and you can optimize fully optimize your content for the certain. Same case. Now I have products and categories here. You can go to your post if you have a blog post site, and you can fully optimize it. For, uh, for the session uh, all right so subscribe for more and see you in the next video Bye.